Hey everyone on YouTube. I just wanted to do a quick little plant profile here. Uh, so here we've got a lovely plant of Syningia leucotrica, which is uh, a Gisnerid from South America, native to Brazil. It's an interesting one. It's one of the caudex forming types of Gisnerids. You can see this big tuber here. These are more common in collections of cacti and succulents because this one grows that big tuber that can be planted slightly above the ground. They tend to go dormant for the winter and they may or may not keep their, their stems and leaves during that time. And eventually in late winter or into spring, the old stems will fall off and then any new growths that are coming from the base will start to shoot up and produce some flower buds, as you can see here. They do tend to tolerate a cold greenhouse fairly well. They'll go down to about minus one without too much difficulty, but they do need to be kept dry during the winter period. When they are growing actively in the spring and summer, they actually require a surprising amount of water. So I keep them in clay pots to be able to dry them out easily for winter time. But in the spring and summer, I actually put a tray under them so that they soak up a little bit of extra moisture. So I'll top water, let the water soak through and fill the tray, and it'll probably stay wet for the better part of eight to 12 hours to really let it soak up. I find if you don't give them a lot of water or maybe a slightly larger pot when they're actively growing, you can have trouble with them not being able to maintain their leaves. They can be stunted a little bit, they may not flower, and they can be a little bit tricky to get nice growth on that way. But then again, making sure that come fall when things are slowing down, we cut the water right down to pretty much nothing over the winter until they start showing some active signs of growth. An interesting and fairly rewarding plant. Over time they can get quite large. Um, the tubers on these can get to be a foot across over, the, over time. So something interesting to add to your collection of either Gisnerids, houseplants, or cacti and succulents. Thanks YouTube!